and we are back so much in for sports and we are here to actually break it down for each and every one of you when you are want to watch we have very much grateful for the support. Please feel free to communicate to us because my social media handles in this group of those ones. Yes, please. Now, uh, moving on to other stories. Well, the, um, there's a very interesting story that has been creeping up. Now, the Kenya police withdrew from African Championships for the second straight year. Kenya police men's hockey team have withdrawn from the African Cup club uh, championship set for December 1st to 10th in Ismaili, Egypt, due to lack of finance. Yes, I said lack of finance. Now, at the same time, the, uh, the local rivals of the league champions, uh, Butali Sugar Warriors, participation in the annual events hangs in the balance as they await feedback from the sponsors. Now, that this is not the first time the two teams, uh, Police uh, and uh, Butali, have withdrawn in participation from, uh, from the event. In 2018, both clubs gave the event that was held uh, in Nigeria a white bat citing financial constraints. Now, at the moment, only Telecom Ladies Hockey Team have confirmed their participation in the year's African Cup Club Championships that takes place in Ismaili between, uh, again, I repeat, 1st to 10th of December. The 10 times winner are, re uh, are reigning champions, having beaten Ghana Revenue Authorities in their previous edition. Now, guys, this is really interesting because when you think about it, in in, in, in Ashanga, um, I think there has to be a, a serious uh, discussion on how uh, finance is distributed uh, among us and in the sports teams. Now, this one in, in its separate way, this one involves club, it's a national team, yeah. so it's not the government's responsibility. But still, it does show a bad for picture. For that it is. Yeah, for this one it is, uh, Kidogo, but still. It does show a bad picture when uh, our national team, uh, our, or when, whenever we wanted to send a team to represent Kenya in a certain event, it's really, really a bad picture, considering the amount of money to Maskia, Zina Pita, Tunama, politician, left, right, and center. But well, my question to you guys is really simple. To what end and what do we do to actually stop it? Now, to Nizan Zekwako, Edgar. Okay, looking at that matter, yeah. uh, we, as the, we as Kenyans, kitu ambacho tunafaa kufanya, ni kuchukulia michezo yetu, tusi chukulia tu kama michezo, bali tuichukulia kama ile investment. When you take sports as investment, basi haku hautakuwa na michezo kwamba, Hakuna fedha na vitu kama vile. But it's interesting, interesting when uh, private organizations zinajaribu kusaidia Kenya kwa kwa invest kwa clubs and then Kenya uh, in its own unique way uh, wana find a way ya kuwafukuza speaking of sport pesa na kina betin. Yeah. Brian, unaweza katuchangia hapa hivi tusaidie kidogo because it's really I mean I find it a, a bit perturbing because tuna shida ya pesa wenye wamekubali kutupatia pesa wakikuja tuna njia unique za kuwafukuza. Greed. Greed. Greed is the biggest answer to that. We have stories left right and center speaking of how some people wanted to be major investors in these big corporates in these big betting companies talk about sport pairs talk about bet in and because they are critical and they say no we're not bringing in government because government is probably the most corrupt agency or the most corrupt organization in kenya uh they decide not to bring in people and some people were not happy and when you make people that are not happy and are in power you are bound to lose so Things happen. Well, it's a tragedy, but still, we are hoping that Kenya, uh, the, the Kenyan teams, will actually do find the finance to actually participate in these games because we are really rooting for them, and we, as sports fans and sports supporters, we really, really want to see them there, participating in the event and bringing us the trophies and uh, the medals back home. Now, moving on, it all is sorted as Zarika is bound to travel to Mexico. Now, the World Boxing uh, Council (WBC) has said that anomalies that were in W uh, in WBC Super Battle Bantamweight Champion Fatma. Iron Fist Zarika title fight contracts have been certified, uh, rectified. WBC President Mauricio Suleiman noted that WBC has cleared and specific rules governing their bout, adding that Zarika's final contract now contains all the clarifications from both sides with the specific clause set. Now, Kenya Professional Boxing Commission and uh, had protested to WBC over handling of Zarika's uh, title fight, citing anomalies in the contract. Ndolo had noted that the contract sent to Zarika was full of errors, especially on the pass she's to get, yet she is being forced to sign it. Now, Zarika, amekwa, I think as far as boxing goes, since uh, Twache stories are uh, Nanin, Alwondo, Konje. Konje, Zarika is the only female Mwanya Mutpeleka Tena Kwa World Map. But here's the thing now, the contract was sent to her the contract had anomalies anomalies mostly zilukwani or oh, the, the the issues on the contract zilukwani kusu mambo ya pesa now in in figures wanaandika six million but in words wanaandika one point uh, sixteen thousand dollars 
you know, so that was the that was the big problem and they were really really offended uh, Kenyan boxing Ninil were offended uh, so much so that they actually sent it back and said that it should be rectified before Zarika signed it because while it was in the issues and they were forcing her to sign it now what at once in your shafi yeah you know edi ni kwamba ukiangalia ile 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 Kenya aswa mm. boxing ali ili vote ka sport pesa hata kama ngikuuliza palipokuwa na palipokuwa na ile sport pesa hapa kwa na ile maneno ya kwamba mara contract kwa sababu sport pesa walikuwa na wale agents wao sasa so, walikuwa nampatia yule e Zarika agents ambao walikuwa nakaa karibu na yeye ambao mara mingi walikuwa napata kwamba wanaenda pale wanazungumza hiyo vitu zinatumwa sasa hivi sport pesa ina haina mfadhili na zile wale sport mingi ambayo imekuwa ikidhaminiwa na sport pesa imekuwa ina shida kidogo sasa Zarika kidogo katika ile kandarasi ambayo ilikuwa atie sahihi tayari nasikia kwamba boxing wale, eh, Kenya boxing imefanyia marekebisho yako sawa when, when you think about it this is a very big uh, this is a very big match uh, internationally recognized yeah. but still there are such certain issues kama hizo and considering the fact that she's going to defend at uh, ni the end of the title holder yeah. do, don't you that doesn't she deserve a little bit more respect than that yes when you are a champion the world champion i guess you deserve a lot a hell of a respect and uh, some of these small mistakes you see on a contract or you see um, your flight got booked wrongly or you you know this so this small small mistakes are not supposed to be there because as we say with all these other athletes they are in the international space and they're representing Kenya all of us as a whole therefore there's no need of putting an embarrassment to the whole 50 million of us through one person well all is set for Zarika as she's bound to travel to Mexico to go and defend her championship uh, title uh, she will be traveling on the uh, she'll be fighting on the 9th of December or yes. yes 9th of December right she'll be fighting on the 9th of December uh, uh, as she takes on Munyolipigana hapa Kenya na kama it was very interesting actually i went to see that match when you look at joko na it was interesting but as we continue uh, harambe stylets dim gana in their qualifiers now gentrix shikangwa scored in an extra time as Arambe Stars Starlets edged out Ghana Black Starlets 1-0 in the third round of the Olympic qualifiers at Kasarani Stadium last week. Shikangwa netted from the penalty spot after Ghanaian defender had handled a goal-bound effort on the line. Harambe Starlets dominated huge chunks of encounters and should have finished off the Western African earlier the West Africans earlier had they made use of numerous chances that they created. Prior to the meeting, uh, prior to meeting Ghana, Starlets had edged out Malawi. Arambe Starlets have never qualified for the Olympics Games, but the Kenyan team has not let this small fact turn down their pursuit as they aim at their next opponents. Kenya will be playing either Zambia or Botswana in their fourth round qualifiers. Now, uh, E-game, almost, it's uh, a Games in Kwanini in Lukwaga, my fans were like, I was because the stadium was really empty. I actually wondered mm -hmm. for quite a while. And uh, Yakwanza and I know Kwanini in Katazo because Yakwanza and Lichesia Machakos now while Yambiwa Machakos is not an internationally recognized stadium. For, so for them to actually host it in Machakos, it will in a chess of Bila, my fans. Now, mm -hmm. this is the second, second time, but still, I am happy for the Arambe Stalets. While in prove right, I really believe in them. And uh, last week to Luangelele, and they made us proud as a country. I just still hope that when time comes that what I enter to the big stages to skakwa na issue at that. Although he quotes as we speak right now. You know there are problems you know that are coming as he takes it over. You know that there are problems that you know as in there are in-house problems that you expect. Mimi staki mali itakuwa inafika. Edi kwenu kuna time kuanga na sukari. Mimi kuna staki mali itafika toko na sema hashtag #kenya shida pesa kwa sports. Kuna wageni kwenu na kuna sukari and you know you know. At no idea to put a bit, you know, I can't to fault. You don't Edgar. No. Uh, when you are to key to key cosa kujaza viwanja, ma to key cosa kujaza viwanja, confano, caro, radula, liquana, na initiative, kwamba, we fill the stadiums. Once you fill the stadiums, vitu kama fans, savita kwa matatizo. Mimi hishu yangu doina toka. Now. And this one, ata nikumwendo aliuliza. It is one thing saying we should fill this, the stadium. Now. So, uh -huh. But it's also another thing on telling him how he should do that. Now, yes, he's a professional. Yes, he's, he's into football. Nana Faku Joseph, but still, what ways do we go about in filling the stadiums? Because Mimi one, I, I actually felt it, it was more about PMA teams. Like for instance, the local teams, they should all run their own campaigns, the Kofield Stadium. 
Unona, they should run uh, ma ma campaigns out of Kufil Stadium. You don't run your campaigns, you don't get fans in your stadium, and then you start complaining. But this is the national team. So, so Ebuni MB, how do we feel the national team stadium? Kwanza ya mademe nye niko sekana, na juwa rampe wa nagashida. Apana, unaskiza Edi ni kwamba, hizi timu za Kenya, ama wa Kenya, kama sisi wa Kenya, watu chukule ile spoti kwa kama passion. Nechukulia kama pengine wanatusumbua. Alafu watu wengi wametua, wame wana ile morale na timu ya taifa. But to get the story, Arambe Stales pia kushinda. Mulione game, I hope kuna winyo mwingine winyo mulione game. Naam. How was the performance? Wali perform vizuri ama ilu kwa katu ni hifi hafi? Kuna mtuto wa kike, anava uh, jezi number six. Jezi number six, alafu na shikangwa, jezi number ten. Au, au, nasema kwamba kongole sana kwa wa, au ndo tuleta ile ushindi. Alafu walivopiga ile sabu zao kutoka sare kule Ghana kukuja huku wakakuja wakajua kwamba lazima tu dominate first half tuli dominate tulicheza mpira mzuri sana second half tukacheza vizuri tukapata bao well from starlets to harambe stars now harambe stars camp preparation ahead of mozambique friendly continues now the kenya national team harambe stars enters its fourth day of residential training ahead of the scheduled friendly against mozambique harambe star coach francis kimanzi is happy that most of the players that were called uh, turned up have reported to uh, called up have reported to the camp and uh, the training sessions are good the match is set to be played on sunday october 13th uh, this year at the mic msrc kasarani <laughs> starting for uh, at 4 p.m is uh, this is really interesting because mimi nilikuwa nangalia harambe stars na mimi i am really rooting for this case because you know we, 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 we have to give them the support, but easy friendly is mini kwa nangale umu imu wao. Sam, now, yeah. ukiangale international games, before they actually take one, ata wakite kwa international game uh, qualifiers, lazima kukwa gena, naka friendly. But up, up Africa kuliko gana issue, situ liko katuku nenda katuku wa qualifiers, qualifiers direct. Haku wa gana friendlies, yeah. but easy friendlies niza kufanya coach wa understand team, coach wa understand depth yao, because you know your first 11 most of the times, but you do not know what you can use when your first 11 is not there. Sasa sisi tusha afika kapo inti nye tulikuwa tunajua gao, olunga, Oh, wanyama. But shida ilu kwa ni, nani wengine waneza kakoordinate vizuri kama watu wa wako. But it's a good thing. Now, ige miya kesho, ebuni patini ya venye munafikiria. Now, this is not the first time Arambe Stars wana meet Mozambique by the tulua chapa last time. 3-1 yeah. <laughs> uh, in favor of Arambe Stars. 3-1 in favor, Brian? 3-0 Arambe Stars. 3-0 Arambe Stars. Hey, Brian, ozo, na kufili. Mbona <laughs> kachiza hati mudogo ndogo kama Mozambique kwanza. Mbona Arambe Stars, mwajua kutia kupanda katika ile jedwali ya FIFA, lazimo kachiza hati mkubwa. Kama Senegal wa kachiza na E, na Brazil wa kutoka 1-1, siyo? Ya. Yeah. E, Arambe Stars pigia mtu tatu to andani. Now, uh, nani ya likuwa, Olunga was supposed to report. Uh, it has, uh, since Jaona ma reporti, it has not been confirmed kama ma report, but still. Uh, with the squad that ilikuwa named, which niliona a lot of international players unyo licheza kwa nini ya wakukua, unyo licheza kwa Cup of Nations, wakukua, especially in the midfield zone. But still niliona timi nyili hitu hapo ilikuwa ni more local players, and it was a good thing because Mimi have always said, if we want to go further, we have to find a way to blend the international players with the local players, yeah. which is a shi international level when you have last time, ilikuwa a little bit risky. Na ilit cost at some point, but still, tu a very good game. So what do you think going on this one, Brian? I Tactics. think what you're, what you're basically bringing on is, what Kenya tumekuwa tukisema all through. Have a system where you have the local based players merging well with the international, international players. Player. Now, Francis Kimanzi knows all too well, and that's why you were saying he's happy that all the players that were called up came up, that, and that's why he's happy. Because in Kenya, you, fa you have someone like Wanyama, and you pay him 1,000 shillings for camp. You have someone like Olunga, who his salary is well into the six and even seven figure, but when he's coming for the, to play for Harambe, you have him and uh, his salary or his his day allowance is like 800 bob or like a thousand bob so he should be happy he should be happy that they actually came and that's why you're talking about him being happy well all the best for our stars as they take on uh, mozambique on sunday if you have the chance or the opportunity please go and support our stars support 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 to jazani stadium the best way we know how uh moving still on international nini kulipuka international friendlies that were played this week and uh, most of them were really interesting the belgium one the belgium one <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think about the belgium match just the figures those ones were just shocking <laughs> You know, we got to a point, uh, we're watching the replay for one goal. To now watch replay, goal moja. Ingine na ingia. Ingine na ingia. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, Belarus na Estonia. Of, of all the matches. Uh, so, uh, okay, so. No, no, papa, uh, uh, ngalele ugumu wa mchezo. Yeah. Belarus na Estonia. Belarus na Estonia. Kili amta iljaribu. Oh, okay. Now. Yeah, so, yeah. 
Edgar leo na gani wewe? Nilitazama ule mtanange wa Belgium na Belgium walipompiga mtu mabao 9. Kwa nini nilitazama ule mtanange Romelu Lukaku? <laughs> Manchester United kumtema. Watu wa Manchester na masaibu zenyu bado tuwaziendelea tu. Ah 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 ah. ah. Lakini uh, me, 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 most of them, at least, zingine 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 watch, nili watch highlights, and uh, it was a really, okay, imeni shock to moja kunikiangali international, easy international friendly zote. Kuna mapilia zoingine wajuku chita kwa club, lakini kwa international wajua kujituma tu, yani, mimba kata nili kwa nashangani kwa natu ingine, but not name names, uh, let's just uh, support Kenya wa feature za hii wiki, and we really, really, really hope the best for them as a uh, wakinini, but again, ni friendly, so msichupe serious sana, let's, let's just move on. Now, uh, that was all from us from Team Sports up by the Y254. We'll be seeing you all next week from us to you. It's goodbye. But before I leave, let me remind you when you're going to set. Now, on my far end, I'm going to end the way. 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 We are little brand, Mushiri. I've been your host, Eddie Ogoe. Na kwa wale wenye wanikuwa meanza party after party after party after party. I hope ni misema vizuri. Please drink responsibly and party responsibly. After up IV, tukona island vibes. Just stay tuned. From us to you, goodbye.